to the title race. Manchester City remain on track for the treble after beating Sheffield United to reach the FA Cup final. Now attention turns to their massive game with Arsenal on Wednesday. It's a huge week for City and Pep Guardiola says they're far from a treble. Um, do you understand that, Stephen? Is he just talking this down? They, they seem to be well-equipped to win all three competitions here, don't they? Yeah, he's not going to come out and say it, is he? And then <laughs> if they get knocked out, he, he ends up with egg on his face. So, no, listen, he, he knows the capabilities of his team. They're an outstanding team. He knows if they are at their absolute maximum in games, then they will be very difficult to stop. I don't see the Manchester United game being a problem for them in the, in the FA Cup final. I think they're the, the far superior to Manchester United at the moment. The, the issue is the Real Madrid game. Over two, two legs is where does that leave them? I think it suits them going to Real Madrid first and then going back to the Etihad because if, if you can go to the Bernabeu and get a draw or get yourself a goal ahead, then going back to the Etihad will be very difficult for Real Madrid. I think the big question is, is can they keep the players fit? Can they keep Haaland on the pitch? Can they keep De Bruyne on the pitch? I think we, was it very interesting to see De Bruyne start the game at the weekend. I thought he would have wrapped him up in cotton wool and just kept him for the title running and the, and the Champions League. But that shows you his commitment to every yeah. single competition. I was mm. the same. I wondered if, if Pep Guardiola would maybe make some some changes. And when you look at the, the starting lineup, I know Ortega was, was in goal, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, instead of Edison. But it was it was pretty strong with Haaland, Grealish, De Bruyne, yeah. um, Mares, like you say. But... He clearly wants all three trophies and they just look so ruthless at the moment, don't they? That They are desperate to get all three and certainly capable, but it is a case of trying to make sure that everybody's fit and available. Is it a case of you put your strong team out, you win the game, then you take them off and, mm. and rest them? I, I think this is the best team I've, I've watched in my time as a, as a, a football fan, as a, a pundit, as a player. I think this is the best team I've seen. And I look at the Barcelona team, that was brilliant. But I just think there's something about this team. Definitely def definitely best English team yeah. that we that I've seen. I mean, they are phenomenal to watch. You just watch them and they're mesmerised and you think, how do you stop them? How do you how do you break them down? Because defensively they're so well organised, but attacking wise so many ideas on the pitch and so many great players who can carry out the ideas. Well, that first leg against Bayern, against a very good Bayern side, I was just like, wow, this is absolutely amazing like you said how good they were going forward and just the way that like Pep Guardiola always makes those little tactical tweaks doesn't he yeah. those little changes that just keep evolving the side and, and keep players on their toes and keep opposition on the on their toes as well and they are they're just a mess when they are when they click and they hit form they're capable of beating anybody mm. Yeah, the last Champions League final they reached didn't quite work out. One of those little tweaks, did yeah. it? But, uh, I, I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, so, through to the semi-finals of the Champions League, the FA Cup final, and we know next it, it is Arsenal um, at the Etihad as they look to take control of the title race. As you can see, though, they, they've, they've got more games to play and then you've got to throw in the, the, the two legs of, of the semi-final uh, uh, against Real Madrid. Um, but they're, they're not looking any further than Wednesday, are they? Is, is it as simple as win this one and, and they've got one hand on the trophy? They, they won 3-1 at the Emirates in February. Will they rekindle that? in this game? See, I think we're, we're highlighting, obviously, the, the Manchester City and the Arsenal game because it is key. It is key in the title race. But I think when you look at both teams, they've got difficult fixtures, haven't they? You look at, you know, Arsenal, they've still got to play Brighton. They've still got to play Newcastle. You're playing Nottingham Forest that have got something to play for. Manchester City, same. You know, they've still got to play Brighton. They've got to play Everton and Leeds that, that still have something to play for. So they'll be scrapping for, for every point. So it's just been so unpredictable this season that, of course, we're highlighting that game. We all can't yeah. wait to watch it. But I still think there's little twists and turns in the season. Is, is, is it the fact that there's more expectation on City going into this one? Which, which way do you see it? Arsenal, of course, have been top for, for so long and, and the idea there is that, OK, are, are they going to blow it? But for City, it seems to be that there's more expectation on them to go and win this game. Well, there's an expectation because of what they've done in the past, yeah. in the last few seasons and, and the standards they've set and the, the, 
the capabilities that they can they can play to. I think the difference with Arsenal is is that we're all surprised to see them in this position come the start of the season. Would you have predicted that Arsenal would be top of the league? I don't think anyone would have gone that far and put the neck on the line. I think, if, if everyone's being completely honest, we all thought it would have been Liverpool and Manchester City again. So the pressure is on Manchester City because of they're chasing them down, they're in great form, Arsenal have stuttered of late. Are they as confident as they were two, three weeks ago? No, they're not. So And Manchester City are at home. We expect them to win the game because they're, f they're a phenomenal team. Um, and that's the pressure of, of, of playing for a club like them. OK, we're going to play a game again. Yeah. I, I, like, I like the game. <laughs> and, and, and all you have to me, say... I need me board. Yeah, yeah, all you yeah, have to do. say is success or failure. Ooh. OK? Ooh. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, for Manchester City this season, only win... Only. <laughs> many other teams would like to do this. Win the FA Cup. Success or failure? Only the FA Cup. Failure. It's the wrong word, yeah. but failure. OK. Win the FA Cup and the Premier League. I'll go. Success. Success? Yeah. They still miss out on that holy grail That's of the what Champions League. That's why Premier League's huge. Yeah, it is absolutely huge. And, of course, if it was me in that position, I'd say success. But I think Manchester City and Pep Guardiola, I think failure because I think they want to win all three. Mm -hmm. OK. Win the FA Cup and the Champions League, but don't win the Premier League. Success. See, again, I'm going to go failure because I think they want to win all three. OK. All three? <laughs> <Success>. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we got there in the end. All right.